I was uh, just telling your new boss there over in the corner, he has quite the history of um, picking up people that are kind of down on their luck or, you know, that people won't give a chance to and pulling off wins with them, but you also rewarded him with number 300. Yeah, big thank you to Mitch and all of them for giving the opportunity. Obviously, it's, uh, it's more than just me out there. It's a whole army of them behind us, and, uh, yeah, it's a big team sport. So a uh, big thank you to Mitch, Ian, uh, Dave, all of them. I mean, there's a million of my mechanic, Ryan. It's like, the list goes on. Not enough people get enough credit. So big thank you to them, and uh, first off, all the glory to God. It's been a pretty gnarly uh, three to four years, and uh, just believed in the team that I had around me, my physical coach, my uh, riding coach, my dad, everyone. Uh, hard work pays off, and just kept my head down. It's been a very rough couple of years, and I uh, believed I could do it, and just once again, hard work pays off, so yeah, God's good. So, I mean, to get to this point, you definitely have to not stop believing, but at the same time down the road, was there ever a moment where you're like, man, maybe this just isn't going to be it, or you always was able to keep keep the head down? Ah, uh, I mean, there's little glimpses of it, but I believe in myself, and once again, believe in the team around me, and I was like, I got this, it's just uh, God's timing, and uh, that was kind of hard. I had a lot of stuff that was kind of out of my control, small mistakes, and like, even in Supercross, like, I just tore my calf going up a face of a jump. Like, yeah. it was kind of from the antibiotic from my, gave my appendix removed. So it was just a lot of freak stuff, but no, I just kept my head down and yeah, hard work stays off. I thought a really cool one that, that Mitch mentioned, and uh, I also brought it up to him. Like, he mentioned that, you know, the change, the last minute change is hard on you, harder yeah. than them having to get stuff ready for you. And, and I said to him, like, hey, you know, it's, it's, everybody looks at like, oh, Mitch calls. It's a no brainer. It's an easy yes. And I mean, it is, but in the same breath, like you read social media, people believe in you believe if you get on a factory bike, you can win, but it is the day before the first national yeah. that you're switching bikes, yeah, yeah. classes, and the expectation goes through the roof. No, if you've, you've proven it wrong, but if it didn't work out, if you didn't get the win, if you didn't get podiums, it could all be down to just the last minute switch, but you kind of lose that. How do I say it? Like people expecting at you, they would start to question you like, oh, well, he got the opportunity and him. So you put, there was risk for you saying yes. Uh, it seems like a no brainer, but there was legitimate risk. Yeah, definitely risk. And I was feeling really, really good on my 450. Last year, I didn't get any testing at all. And uh, this year I came in with a really good, but I mean, no, it's, this is the team that I want to be on. And uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of why I switched to Cowies and all that. And mm -hmm. really want to be with Mitch and all them. So I was like, we, uh, yeah prayed about it and all that and uh big thank you to dan right here all these guys making it possible but yeah i, I straight up asked boss man if you had earned a ride he's good at keeping things close to his chest but of course uh, the red joke is you're doing all the right things so yeah. i mean I, I think you know based on negotiation we heard i think there is a, a spot here available next year so you're doing all the right things to to make it a little more permanent yeah hopefully <laughs> uh how i mean it's got to be tough. Like, does it sink in? First win on the podium. People chat. High points a loud round. We get yeah. a lot of talk about Red Bud, but a lot of Master Pools all USA. Is it? Are you, is it sinking in? Or are you still just in disbelief? Uh, that's not all synced in yet. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's still sinking in. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, basically just like through the up and down. Just it was it was hard you know what i mean uh, it's been a long three four years but uh yeah it's all starting to sink in so yeah just ready to get home and uh get back to work on monday and uh yeah i got a lot of room for improvement we ain't staying here so yeah last one i'll let it looks like nbc showing up for the big one <laughs> but um we talked last week at colorado and we we're talking about track conditions i know you are a fan of the deep ruts the long ruts the technicalness we definitely had that today high point already is naturally like that but with the rain it's deep but then hit the base like Right up your alley, were you stoked? Uh, it was honestly, it wasn't that deep. I thought if they would have ripped it deep, it was such a hard base. If they would have ripped it deep, it would have brought that dry dirt and really mixed it up. It was kind of hard, it was like very hard pack underneath, but to me, gnarlier the better, more racing. It was still very good, uh, yeah. a lot better than it has been. But uh, yeah, step in the right direction, but I mean, you could see it was a lot easier to race on stuff, a lot of passing and all like that. But uh, yeah, I believe in the deeper tracks and all that. Last one, actually, I'll throw it to you. Big big congrats on putting a lot of pressure on Chance because I watched his back. I don't know how Chance didn't crash. I don't know yeah. from your perspective, it was one of the longest near non-crashes I've know. ever seen when you got him. Yeah. But I saw him on the outside just tucking the front for what looked he, like forever. He was falling out of the target. He was falling for like 20 feet. I was like, I was insane. You're looking back at him, you're like, I got the move. I know, <laughs> I was like, that was the only spot. I was like, I knew I could pass him there. 
I didn't want to bump him or anything, but yeah, he was following forever. It was a good save on him, and he was riding really good. Well, congrats and actually, one of the it was cool to see how many people came up from Crad yeah. Chase Sexton's dad, Mount Stewart's dad, multiple people from Cowie. Yeah. It's harder, and congrats again, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.